this is important. Hey, we're a bar band. Have some respect, man. I had some real information about the song White Lightning, written by Giles Perry Richardson, the Big Bopper. The Big Bopper died in a plane crash with Richie Valens and Buddy Holly. And most of you know the story, Buddy. But a week later, George Jones released his first number one song, White Lightning. And it went to number one on April 13th, 1959. Then everything after that, the bass player that gave his seat up was Waylon Jennings. Waylon Jennings' career launched from that dreadful day. And so did George Jones. And those two have inspired millions of artists. We're called Purple Haze. And if you listen to it, it's just supposed to be about a certain herbal strain. And uh, I don't know, the terminology sounds a lot like someone jumping out of an aircraft to me. And just lo and behold, Jimi Hendrix was an airborne soldier. He signed a three-year contract, and he served about a year. He had counseling statements, was caught doing a uh, solo in the latrine, he, doing a pentatonic scale, uh, uh, maybe. Uh, there's one counseling statement that's out there online that says that he should give up the guitar and the bands. And on his 26th jump, he hurt his ankle, and they gave him his unsuitability discharge which is uh, it's, it's a good of the service discharge enough enough song by the fabulous Thunderbirds written by Kim Wilson released in 1986 little trivial information about that band Jimmy Vaughn who was in that band left it in 1990 to record an album with his little brother unfortunately in August of 1990 his little brother passed in a plane crash his little brother going by the name of Stevie Ray Vaughn you might know who that is A little bit about George Strait, you might not have known. Specialist George Strait in the United States Army. He served from 1971 to 1975, and he spent his final two years in Hawaii. He got stationed in Hawaii. For all you that's been stationed in Hawaii, I, I really don't like you. I got to go to places like Iraq, Kuwait. Afghanistan, Somalia. They go to Okinawa. That was that was really cool. I love that place. Japan was awesome, but Hawaii. And every every military personnel I know that's stationed in Hawaii doesn't like it. But anyway, he actually was with a band called Rambling Country over there, and it's sponsored by the Army, our Army, the U.S. Army. So that's a pretty big deal. 1971 to 1975, George Strait was a soldier. Hey, we're a bar band. Have some respect, man. <laughs>